Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. I am discussing AMC stock. I'm not positive if you watched my video from this morning, but if you haven't already, you should do so immediately because I was able to get the scoop on potential breaking news regarding a possible merger between AMC and Cinemark. I am uncertain as to whether this is merely a bug or not. On one of the AMC websites where they sell their merchandise, including exclusive merchandise, Cinemark products have suddenly appeared. Therefore, I find it a bit odd. Every day, something new and peculiar occurs. And the reason being alright, in my opinion, if they're considering a merger with Cinemark or acquiring Cinemark, it would be to get hedge funds out of their short positions once more. It would involve some type of dilution scheme or dilution in which AMC becomes Cinemark or vice versa. Adam Aaron and the board are so anxious to have hedge funds exit their naked short positions. In truth, it's just. Adam Aaron, my opinion is that it is not the board. The board is likely composed of wealthy individuals who don't really care. They need not be concerned with a brief squeeze or anything else. They possess their money. They are simply eating steak and lounging on the shore. Annually, we pay him millions of dollars. To what end? Go on a campaign tour while viewing movies, flying on airplanes and jets, consuming fuel and landing in all of these cities. I now respect the fact that he enjoys watching movies. It is likely one of my favorite activities in life. I therefore appreciate that about Adam Aaron. I mean, does he hold the position of CEO? What is he doing exactly? Because it appears to me that he watches movies all day. And you know, if he was doing a good job as CEO, wasn't attempting to steal our shares, and was making us money, I wouldn't mind if he spent all day watching movies. Genuinely, sincerely. If he's the CEO overseeing the company, ensuring everything is running smoothly, and he's making us money, and not trying to kill our short squeeze, make AMC stock drop, or help hedge funds get out of their short positions, then I'm okay with him, watching movies all day, flying to every city, wasting fuel, and you know, getting paid millions of dollars to watch movies. I'm fine with that. I want people to have a happy and fulfilling existence. I am not the sort of person who believes you must always be working. All right. I am not like that. However, it frustrates me that he is attempting to steal 90% of our hard-earned money. Then, I will inquire. What are you doing as CEO? You are not fulfilling your fiduciary obligations. Do we need to send you out? Many of you stated in the comments that Adam Aaron must be removed from office. Perhaps this is something we'll investigate. I'm not saying we're there yet, but it's exasperating, and it would likely be very difficult to vote him out of office there is evident desperation. A few days later, when the judge denied the petition to expedite the process, he began to panic once more. And now, he's devising yet another method to dilute AMC and get the shorts out of trouble as quickly as possible. Friends, they are out of time. They are out of both time and money. You witnessed Credit Suisse's demise. They have only BlackRock remaining. And will BlackRock be the only participant in shorting it? they cannot do it independently. They lack liquid assets. Likewise, my opinion, comrades, only my opinion. If you already own enough AMC shares, you should not purchase any more. I'm not a financial advisor. That is not the case, nor am I a financial advisor. This is not financial counsel. Oh, I despise uttering that, and I always make errors. In any case, I advise you not to purchase additional AMC stock if you already own large quantities. The reason is that they're utilizing your shares. They are creating liquidity to short AMC stock using your shares. Therefore, if you invest $1,000 in AMC stock, they will redirect that to the dark pool and use it to short AMC stock. So click like and subscribe, share the video with a friend, and leave a comment. Below is some bullish news.